Ryan here with Prudential Pest Solutions, and we've been getting a lot of phone calls for giant wasps that are flying around, low hovering around in people's yards, and people want to know what is that? Is it the giant murder hornet that we keep hearing about uh, that came out of uh, out of Asia and we find on the West Coast? Is it some sort of uh, killer hornet that's going to hurt ourselves or our kids? And no, it's not. So what those are most often are cicada killing wasps, and what they do is they go out, they hunt cicadas, they paralyze them, then they dig this hole into the ground, about a half inch hole, and you'll see all the soil excavated. And they bring the, the cicada in there, lay an egg on top, and as their larva hatches, it feeds on the still alive cicada that's still paralyzed. So it's pretty, uh, pretty gnarly. Um, so what happens when a cicada killer wasp stings you? No, I'm just kidding. That's poison ivy. Um, these things are usually pretty benign. They're very beneficial insects. And they only really cause an issue when they build their nests and they're making their homes right at the front porch or the front um, walkways of folks' homes because it's a giant wasp that's coming around your house. So what can we do about that? So first, let's get to know these wasps. So the cicada-killing wasp is its a giant-looking wasp. And, and honestly, it's very intimidating looking. They can be between an inch to two inches long. Um, so when you have a large number of them, or even not, I mean, if you just have a few flying around your yard, they look extremely intimidating. Um, just because of their sheer size alone, they have the stripes on the back, so they resemble a yellow jacket. So um, like I said, we'll have folks that'll call us and they'll say, I have giant wasps um, everywhere. And they're just flying around and they're hovering around my yard and, and, and oh my gosh, they're going to attack me. And really the truth is, is that these solitary wasps are, do not have the defense mechanism built in like honeybees or yellow jackets or hornets do because their job is mostly to just go out, reproduce, uh, find cicadas, paralyze them and drag them into these holes. And these holes that they make... Um, you can see here that they excavate quite a bit of sand or quite a bit of soil from the ground. And uh, we're trying to show some of the all the, the large numbers of them flying around this yard here. But they can excavate about a foot into the soil. And there's going to have off of that main tunnel, they're going to have all these other channels here. So we can see here in this yard um, just this big clump of dirt sitting out there. Where these uh, where these where these cicada killers are making their making their dens here. And if I move some soil back you can actually see where the main entrance is. So it's about a half inch hole and, and really it's impressive what these guys can really excavate. And here's a, a little snapshot of them digging out from underneath their, um, underneath from a walkway here. So if we want to treat, the best way to do it is always with a dust. So we're going to apply a dust into the hole there and that dust is going to permeate through their entire tunnel system. And we can see one here that, uh, that was in there. And they're going to come out and you can see that they're white in color now because they have that dust on them. So um, that's a very effective way to treat. As it, The more that are hovering around the yard, you may also find that putting a uh, broadcast spray of an approved pesticide throughout the lawn uh, will do just the same amount of, uh, of damage to their population there. So um, as you can see here, my little joke here was that that, uh, that, that was a murder hornet sting. But actually, in reality, it was uh, I just put a I put a. Uh, a cicada killer on top of my poison ivy just to give the impression of that. So if you live in southeastern Pennsylvania and you have cicada killing wasps floating around your yard and flying around your yard, most often they're harmless. There's nothing really you need to worry about unless you don't like the idea of giant hornets flying around your front yard where your kids play, where your puppy is, or around your front door um, where somebody could potentially be messing with them and get hurt, in which case you want to do something about it. So you can always follow us on prudentialpest.com. Make sure you like and, and share our videos. It's how we find great viewers like you.